What is this on my sweet potatoes? And look at that. It looks awful too. Yeah. What do you think that is, Mr. D? I think it's I think it's probably white grubs. And you know, we have a lot of I white grubs so. in this area and and uh, that's what it looks like white grub damage. It it could be uh, white fringe beetle also looks something like that and then uh, a little bit to a lesser extent uh, the wireworm yeah. uh, larvae or the wireworm and the the uh, 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 what's the other uh, so when you say white grub, are you like like the Japanese, I mean, maybe not Japanese beetle, but it looks May like beetle, grub like that. May beetle, June beetle larvae. Okay, yeah. got you. Yeah, very, yeah. very common here, yeah. very common. Didn't know that. But uh, very the, abundant in the soil, of yeah. course. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Root, root worm yeah. and wire worm oh, root damage root worm. Okay. look very similar to okay. each other. Uh, the wire worm, I know, leaves a, you know, a smaller, rounder hole. Right, those were, and it's usually more shallow. And it's more shallow. More shallow. Those so those are pretty root deep. Worm, they're, uh, right. they're, they're very, very shallow. Right. The... But that looks that looks more like uh, white grub damage mm -hmm. to me, um, and I would be very careful. You know, white grubs are fairly easy to control, but this is a food crop. Yes. So I, I would yes. go to the red book and look at you know, in vegetable production, sweet potatoes and and soil insects. Probably the same product uh, will be recommended, and then follow the label on on controlling that. Uh, I'm thinking carbaryl is very, very commonly mm -hmm. recommended for, for grub worms in, in turf grass they and are. lawns. And, and I are. do know that carbaryl is, is uh, cleared for a lot of vegetable yeah. crops. Mm -hmm. But, but uh, be very, very careful. A lot of this damage was done some time ago. Oh, yes. When the, and, and, and for the wire worm damage and the, and the root worm damage, they may have uh, just chewed a little bit on the skin and then as the potato, sweet potato grew, as tuber grew, uh, that size of that damage also mm -hmm. also grew. Sure. So uh, uh, you know, you may be able to treat earlier in the year, and and uh, not close to harvest, mm -hmm. and and uh, be okay. And they're still safe to eat. Just cut that out and eat. Oh yeah, right. it's amazing what uh, peeling them a little bit and a little brown sugar. Oh yeah, not, <laughs> yeah. Not, uh, <laughs> put them in oven right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, subscribe. We have hundreds of family plot videos for you to view.